Project 2025. What is that? I'm in my bed now, no type of feelings, yeah, I ain't sad now Gave you free game and you did nothing, now you're mad how Got it off the muscle, I ain't have to keep no doors down The one selling out, ask the keys to their mama house It's up now, on a new way, so yeah, it's up Now they up now, they done slept too long, it's time to show them Now they doubted me, had their own limits on all that I can be They clocking me, wanna know what's next, now they watching me Hi millionaires, welcome back to my channel And if you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome on my channel, we speak things as though they are and they shall come to pass. So millionaires you are and millionaires you will be. Now, I am not a political type of person, right? Um, I don't watch the news. So therefore I never know when there's a hurricane or bad weather until I look outside. Um, I don't typically know um, what's happening in the world to be honest. Um, I'm not a person that really even cares who the president is. Um, sorry, but um, I am very real and raw, right? And I know this video might get a lot of backlash, but I kind of want to find my people. So in order for me to find my people, I'm kind of doing this ancestry thing with this video, right? Project 2025 is something that I feel like it's set out to really change some things, right? Um, it's supposed to affect our money. It's supposed to affect our education. It's supposed to affect how we eat, how we sleep, how we breathe. Um, Project 2025, it's like this mandate of certain things like 900 pages or something like that. I honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't do a lot, a lot of research. I kind of just been seeing it pop up on my timeline everywhere, gathered everybody's synopsis and conclusions and brought it here and here we are. I'm going to talk about my real feelings when it comes to Project 2025 and I hope I don't trigger anyone and I hope that you know this video is it reaches the people that it's supposed to reach so that we can stop having anxiety okay um let me turn my phones and everything off because I really want y'all to be able to focus directly on me hold up if you're like me um and what I mean like me as far as I am not a political person, right? In no way, shape or form. I'm one of those people that feel like, you know, okay, you're the president. Cool. You got the, you got the job now. Great. Like I, for one, I don't care if you vote and I don't care if you don't vote. Um, I don't, again, speak on me as a whole when it comes down to politics because I know y'all like to tussle. And even though I fight back, I really will ignore you when it comes down to politics. Like, I really don't care about politics. Um, and the only reason why I don't care about politics as much um, is because, for one, you're going to stress yourself out trying to pre-plan and prepare for everything that's going to happen, right? Um, if we are very correct, we're supposed to live a godly life. We're supposed to trust God in all things. I am very, very big on that. So in that thing and trusting God, it says be anxious for nothing. It also says, for I know the plan I have for you. So therefore, whatever is going to happen is meant to happen. Project 2025. If whatever in project 2025 or whatever project, whatever that they have, Whatever is meant to happen is going to happen. And whatever is not, is not, right? No matter how much you pre-plan, pre-think, pre-anxious, pre-be anxious, pre-stress, pre-worry, pre-fear, you're only going to die faster because you're going to be stressed out about something you cannot do anything about. You can go vote. Go vote. You cannot go vote don't go vote like whatever you do in life do what makes you happy i had to really dive deep into making a video about this because it's happening all around us and i feel like things are put out there for us to not trust god and to really distract ourselves about god because everybody always say hey it's a distraction it's a distraction from what's going on i don't care what p diddy doing i don't care what the illuminati got going on today I am not trying to get distracted off God because see, when I lose focus inside of God, I can't think about anything else because I'm worried about Project 2025 and everything else. I don't do that. Now granted, should I know when the hurricane's coming? Yeah. And I find out, Facebook tell me, hey, you know, it's a hurricane in your area, cool. Mama gonna call me, hey, make sure that you stock up on water, great. 
Um, but other than that, like I, I truly just don't let myself stress and worry about who is in office today. I got to be in office today in my own office at home. Things are high. Economy is up, down, high, high house prices are up some days and interest rates are high. Debt's high. Bankruptcy's high. Everything is high, baby. You probably high watching this video high. And then there's me. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't have, I don't drink wine. I don't do anything. So therefore I have to really be conscious about the things that I allow in my mind, my thoughts, my space, right? And Project 2025, it, it, it has details about things that they plan on doing, right? They've been doing things. What have you done to stop them from doing it? Nothing. Nothing. You can go vote. You just vote and hopefully the person you vote for win. Like this has literally been happening since we've been born. And I'm not telling y'all, oh, stop voting. I'm not telling you don't do this. Don't do that. All I'm telling you is trust God and not man. Stop worrying yourselves about it. If it's going to happen, guess what? Pray about it. Go to God about it. Ask God to help you prepare and prepare whatever you want to do. But stop. I want, I want to talk to that person who's worried about probably 20, 2025 right now. I made this video for us. Stop it. Stop worrying about it. Stop Googling it. Stop TikToking it. Stop searching it. Because every day you search it, you're scared and you're scared and you're scared. Your anxiety is probably high. You're probably getting a little bit depressed. You don't want to go to work. You don't really want to cock in. You don't want to deal with the customers calling because you're really, really worried about Project 2025 when we still in 2024 and you don't even know if you're going to get hit by a goddamn bus tomorrow because you're worried about Project 2025. Stop killing yourselves early. We're not doing that. We are going to stop stressing about things that are going to be in the future. We're not trying to worry about that. We will cross that bridge when we get there. Everything in life that we do, everything that happens to us, we have to learn how to start crossing that bridge when we get there. Because for one, yes, the lack of planning could be your downfall. But in the end of the day, this is not this this is not something that you need to worry yourself about every day. Stop stressing about things that you really genuinely and truly have no control of. You literally just go go vote if you're going to vote. Whatever makes you happy to do or whatever you feel like you are doing to better this economy in this world, do that. But as for me and mine, we're going to serve God. We're going to trust God. And we is not going to stress about the what ifs and what mights and the future about things. God knows the plans. So whatever is going to happen, it's going to happen. And I truly, truly live a life like that. For one, I always tell people, I don't live a perfect life. Life for me has not been easy. I am not exempt from trials and tribulations. Money does not make you all the way happy. It can buy you things that you want in life, but it does not substitute for happiness and joy. And everything that's online is not real. So therefore, baby, you can... Baby, people only posting when they're happy. They ain't really always posting when they sad, that sad, mad, depressed. They ain't posting. Everybody's not posting all that all the time. So therefore, you you got half of social media living the truth and half of them living in a lie. So therefore, you have to really find your place in the world and live in that place. Let me say that again. Find your place in the world. Live in that place. Stop letting all these conspiracy theories and all these things shake your face, shake you off track, got you all stressed out. We're not doing that. We're not, we're not doing that. So if you came across this video and you're looking for what is Project 2025, it's a 900 page stressful book about things that they plan on doing to our economy, our finances, our education and everything else. If you really wanna know after watching this video, go click on somebody else's video. But I wanted to make this video in light of people that need to stop stressing about things that they don't have control of right now. There are things that we really do need to be focusing on, like our own health and learning how to eat better and losing that weight and not keep restarting that 75 hard and 75 soft challenge and, you know, worry about keeping our jobs, keeping our businesses afloat. There are just other things, spending more time with our family while we have them, spending more time with our kids and not putting them off to the side all day because you're stressed out, because you're worried, because you're online all day searching Project 2025. Stop. Stop. Just stop. Okay? It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. Whatever they decide to do, it's still gonna be all right. Like, whatever it is that's gonna happen, we are gonna ride this wave together like we did everything else, baby. Did they tell you about COVID? We were almost to die, honey. We didn't. 
not all of us. I lost people to COVID. Close people, grand, my grandma, my my goddad, all this stuff. This is all, I couldn't do anything about it. Nothing. I literally, like everything that has happened in life is meant to happen. I, I, I suffered a child loss less than two years ago. I'm still alive to tell the story. And I almost died too. That wasn't a part of the plan. Not mine. But guess what? It was meant to happen. And so therefore, every day I live life, I know that each that each passing day, whatever happens in that day, is meant to happen. If I'm having anxiety attacks, if I'm having a great day, if I'm riding in a CDL, I mean, if I'm riding in a semi truck, or if I'm on top of Mount Rushmore, whatever I meant, whatever I meant to be happening in that moment, it's gonna happen. So therefore, I just live. I'm learning to just live, living in the moment. It's gonna help you with your anxiety. It's gonna help you stop stressing. It's gonna help you because all you need to do is live for right now, today. You don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. You don't even know if you're gonna live to see Project 2025 or if it's even gonna really be as bad as they making it seem. Like there is no way for you to know what's gonna happen tomorrow. Your whole to-do list might not even happen. So guess what? Learn to live in the moment. One thing about this channel, baby, we are real raw and rare. And I do feel like I am, I'm one of those people that it's like in the end of the day, I, I don't I, I don't live my life to be like everybody else. If don't nobody else want to tell you, I'm going to be the one to tell you. It might suck. I might have bad feedback, but guess what? Somebody had to say it. So in the end of the day, like, I'm not saying Project 2025 is good or bad. I'm not saying that it's not something major or whatever. But what I'm telling you is stop stressing about it. Stop worrying about it. Stop searching about it. When it happens, you'll feel it if it's meant for you to feel it. It's so much things that has happened that we have stressed about in advance. That's before today. And guess what? It happened. You didn't stop it. Your anxiety didn't stop it. Your anxiety and stress didn't stop COVID from spreading. Your anxiety and stress didn't stop Katrina and all these other hurricanes from coming about. We literally had to weather the storm, every one of them. And that's what we gotta learn how to do. We gotta continue to navigate life's challenges. Like we have to learn how to maneuver and live day for day, moment for moment. Live in the moment. Because in the end of the day, you don't know what's gonna happen in the next hour or two. So I'd rather be happy right now. So at least in the next hour or two, if, some, if I get a bad phone call, it's like, well, gotta deal with that now. <sighs> Come on guys, like let's just be Let's just be like, can we just be? And if you subscribe to my channel or if you unsubscribe from my channel, then that's cool. If you subscribe, welcome. Welcome to the family. Hey, we're not stressing today. And if you unsubscribe, I understand I'm not for you um, or I made you upset. Um, but other than that, until next time, millionaires, have a great one. Stepping on their neck, yeah, I'm going for the jugular. Steady, fast, and muscle, boy, you weak. Get your paper. You better invest, flip a check. Better show me up.